So I have eagerly been awaiting a package and it finally arrived and I'm really excited to open it. So I thought I would share some of that excitement and open it on camera and show you what I picked up. This is all from a fabric site whose name I'm forgetting, but I'll put it on screen. They were having a sale where a couple hundred materials were between 60 and 80% off. So they had some fabrics that were reduced down to like $3 or a dollar a yard. So I bought 17 pounds worth of material and I think that's more than 30 yards of fabric. And I just wanted to show you what my plans for the things I bought are. I had an in this. So here we are. There's my order sheet right on top, which I will put over here. And then there are all the fabrics. I should mention before looking at these that I spent $99.54. It was a big purchase, but I got a lot of fabric and I felt like it was a really good deal. I think in total I got enough material for five complete projects. Though whether I'll actually be able to use these materials for those projects kind of depends on the quality of them. This first fabric is one of the ones I was most excited for, and I believe this was the only material I purchased that wasn't on sale. It's a slightly stretchy shirting, and they described this color as mint. I don't think it's that minty. It's a very vibrant green checked fabric, and I really like the way it feels. It's thicker than I thought it would be, which means it will work better for the structured dress I have in mind. And I was worried this print would be too busy, and it is very busy, but I kind of love it, and I think it would make a really cute dress, especially paired with a beige or olive toned material that really picks up this color. And I originally picked up this fabric because there's a fashion plate that I'm in love with. It's an 1880s natural form era gown and it's made out of this really vibrant plaid fabric and I thought this would be perfect for something similar. So I'm really excited for that and I really like the way this looks and the way it feels and the texture that it has. So that's a win in my mind. And I ordered seven yards of this. It was $5.25 a yard so it came out to being a little bit more than $36 for the cut. Next in here is a wool suiting material and I got this to line the collar of an Edwardian suit and I'm really hoping that it will match one of the suitings I picked up which was in their sale. Since I'm only going to use this to line the lapels and maybe to pipe the suit, I only picked up a half yard and I believe that half yard was a little more than $5. I really like the weight of this. It's not a heavy wool but it's definitely thicker than your typical type of suiting. Um, it doesn't feel terribly nice, not a soft, luxurious suiting, but if it matches the other suiting fabric I bought, then I'll be happy. <laughs> this is that suiting fabric that I purchased to go along with it, and I actually think these are a pretty good match for each other. I definitely use them together. This suiting is one of their wool suitings, so I think it was regularly like $10 a yard, and then it was reduced down to 3 I like the way it feels. It definitely feels better than the comparably priced suitings you would get from Joann's. Again, it's not a super luxurious, nice feeling suiting, but I think it will work really well for the project that I had in mind, and I'm really happy with how these two look together, so that's very nice. The next material in here is this really pretty white fabric. This is called an ivory semi-sheer rayon. I was expecting this fabric to feel more like a cotton. I didn't think it would have the texture of chiffon. Um, so this won't work for the dress that I had in mind. I thought it would make a really pretty lightweight Regency round gown, uh, but since it's a chiffon, it won't really work for that. It is really pretty, it's just not exactly what I was expecting. And this has a really nice, subtle check print to it. So right away I pulled this fabric out, and it's dirty. Little tiny black marks that are all over it that I can't seem to really get off. Some of them come off almost like lint, but other ones seem to be woven or embedded in the fiber. This was called a pale yellow striped cotton, and I believe this was $1.88 a yard. I'd expected this one to be more yellow. To me, this is more of a cream or almost an beige than a yellow. It has a really pretty subtle striped print to it, um, and I really like it. I think it's a cute fabric and would work really well for any type of dress from the late 1700s into the mid 1800s. So I think this will be a really versatile, fun fabric to work with, uh, though I am a bit concerned about the fact that it looks to be dirty. This is the type of thing I'd expect when buying in the garment district where the fabrics are out on display and they get handled a lot and aren't necessarily stored in the most sanitary environments. So it's kind of frustrating to see that from an online company where you wouldn't really expect them to have those problems. So this is being advertised as a tan plaid shanting, and I think they were incorrect about that because this does not feel like a shanting at all. 
is very, very flowy, where Shanting's very stiff. I think that was a mistake on their part. So it's definitely usable, but that's really not what I was expecting based off the description they provided. But on the bright side, I do really like this print. Again, it's one of those not subtle, but very versatile prints that you could use this for a dress from the mid-1800s all the way to probably the 1950s. It's just one of those fabrics I could see being used in a lot of different ways, so it's handy to have around even though I don't necessarily have a project in mind for it. Alright, so overall thoughts are kind of mixed. I'm still really excited to have these fabrics. I don't know if that's really coming across because I tend to be very critical. And, uh, that's just the type of person I am. That doesn't mean I'm not excited or looking forward to working with these fabrics. But I have to say, I'm not super impressed by this company. I don't know if you can tell, but this fabric is just hacked apart. And this definitely is not a shanting fabric. It's very flowy and it's almost stretchy, which are just not characteristics you'll find in Chanting. So I'm kind of frustrated that that's mislabeled. This definitely wouldn't have been one of my top picks if I'd known about the texture of this in advance. This fabric is probably the one from the sale that I'm most excited about. I just see a lot of options for it. I thought it would have a consistency sort of like quilter's cotton, but this feels actually like a Chanting. It's very stiff and it really holds its shape when you bunch it up. But once again, I'm kind of frustrated because it has all of this little speckly damage on it which you probably can't see from where the camera is set up. I can still make a dress out of this despite the damage and it probably won't be noticeable in the finished photos and I would have liked to know before purchasing it. I am really pretty excited about this checked fabric. Even though it isn't exactly what I was expecting, it feels beautiful, the print's lovely, and I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of this in the near future. I also really like these two fabrics. They don't have the textures I was expecting them to have but I really like the textures that they do have and I think they will make a beautiful Edwardian suit, which I don't plan on starting immediately, but I think I'll be making it soon because I'm really excited about this project and I'm happy to have the materials to make it. This fabric is the one I was most worried about and I think it's actually my favorite. I like the print and color a lot more than I thought I would. I think it's going to be a fun fabric to work with and I'm excited to see what I can do with it. But once again, I want to mention that it's cut really kind of poorly. It's just very straggly along this edge and on this side of the fabric there are a bunch of threads that have been pulled out of it. I mean I can just trim those but I really hope that doesn't extend all the way along the fabric because that could get in the way of cutting out the dress. Hello everyone! So I just wanted to film a few more clips to add to this video. I had originally intended for this to just be an unboxing video, but since I did have a few problems with the materials I ordered, I wanted to turn it into more of a review slash experience video. It's been a few days since I unboxed the fabric. I ended up bolting all the materials, so I unfolded them and really took my time examining them. So I have a few additional opinions about the material, and I also want to address a few things that I forgot to mention in the earlier clips. So the first thing I want to mention is why I'm not returning any of these fabrics, even though I am unhappy with quite a few of them. Reason one is that they were really cheap, um, so I'm more willing to overlook the problems, even though I don't think those problems should have happened. It's also because I am excited to work with a couple of the materials, and I don't really want to return them and then try and find them from other websites. And the final reason is that this company's policy is that you pay return shipping, and I'm really not interested in paying $15 to return $30 worth of fabric. I'd just rather keep the fabric. Alright, so with that said, I just wanted to talk a little bit more about the actual fabrics I received. Once I opened up the plaid shirting fabric, I realized that the little pulls in the material that I noticed extended all the way across the seven yards of it. Luckily, they're only visible from one side of the fabric, and the fabric doesn't seem to really have a right side, so I should be able to cut my pieces out normally without it being noticeable, but I feel like if it was any other type of material, those pulls would be noticeable from both sides of the fabric, and it would have made that material pretty much unusable. So I find it disappointing that they let that inconsistency, I guess, slip through, but the material is still usable, it's gonna be fine, so I really don't feel bothered enough to go through the hassle of returning it. The dark little marks do extend all the way across the yellow fabric, and unfortunately those are visible from both sides, and I feel like that should have been noticed before it was shipped out as well. The mystery with the plaid fabric that was supposed to be shanting, but obviously isn't, was kind of solved. I actually got a Facebook ad for fabric that had the same swatch, and when I clicked on it, it brought me to a page on their site about a polyester folly, which is a much more accurate description for this fabric than shanting. So now I feel completely confident saying that I was not sent shanting. When it comes to the cutting of the material, which I know I complained about early in the video, 
It seems like the two plaid fabrics are the only ones with pretty jagged edges, but there are definitely some cutting issues with all the material. For one of the suitings, I tried pinching the two selvage edges together, and I couldn't get it to lay flat, and that's because there's a 5 inch difference between the length on each end. So even though the edge was cut smooth, it was cut on an angle, which made 5 inches of the material unusable. Since I ordered 5 yards, this isn't a big deal, but if you'd ordered a yard or two of fabric, then that's actually pretty significant. I did end up sending them an email. I wasn't requesting a refund, and I specifically said in the email that I wasn't interested in returning the fabrics. I more sent the email because I wanted them to be informed of the problems that I had, and hopefully they could take an interest and prevent those issues from happening on other people's orders in the future. Unfortunately, I received an automated response. It was basically just a copy-paste of their shipping policy. I wasn't expecting a solution, so that's fine. But I do find it a little bit frustrating that they didn't even bother to read what I sent them. To me that shows a lack of interest in the customer's experience and just a lack of interest in the customers in general, which really rubs me the wrong way and would probably discourage me from ordering them in the future more than the problems I actually had with the fabrics I ordered. Overall I have kind of okay but negative leaning feelings towards this experience. Even though I am excited to use a few of the fabrics I received, I'm not feeling that great about this company in general, and I don't know if I would order from them in the future. I definitely wouldn't order more expensive materials from them or small quantities of fabrics because I feel like these problems would be a lot more annoying on fabric that was $20 a yard and the inconsistencies in the cutting would be a lot more limiting if I ordered a small quantity. Maybe this was a complete anomaly and every other order that they shipped out was perfect and I just happened to be unlucky but I can only really base my review off of my experience, and mine wasn't that great. So I think that's everything I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was enjoyable despite the negative tone, and I hope if you ordered during the sale that your order turned out a little bit better than mine did. Thanks for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Gwen's feeling shy, but she says goodbye as well.